think it's going to be fantastic. <laughs> Right, well, the light is absolutely amazing tonight. I think, if we just look over there, it's going to go. We just had a bit of a rainstorm. It's got dark clouds and it's going to go just over there, drop behind the clouds, and then I think we're going to in for a, a pretty good sunset. Luckily, there's a bit of a walk up my hill and I can get to the top. And get a photo. Let's go. It's one of the great things of living around Marin and the North Bay, and I suspect quite a lot of the places in the US is these trailheads. So you can park at the end of a road, and there's some amazing walking to be done. So, not walk very far, probably five minutes from my house, and look what we have. The other amazing thing is it's so much like you, the UK. Certainly in the summer we don't have the greenery here in San Francisco but at the moment it is so similar to the UK. Green grass, the sort of rock faces and it's just absolutely stunning scenery to take some fantastic shots on a night like this i think we're in for a treat here really early actually to be honest I'm probably about half an hour too early but I'm gonna go and find a good position and I just turn around see and it's an absolutely amazing So I come here a lot, obviously, not very far away from the house. Um, and I usually take these rocks over here, um, but this time I think what I'm going to do is walk a little bit further, just over the back of those rocks, you'll probably just see the city and see if I can get one of the city illuminated as the sun goes down. So what we're looking for is some foreground interest. Can we find something? This tree's good. Can we find something? It will lead us in to the city over there. If you just look over there, there's the city. The sun's going down just to the right. But we need some foreground interest. Those rocks right over there might be good. This looks pretty good, but I think I'm just gonna keep walking, see what I can find. Oh, I've not got long now, I need to actually less time than I thought I was going to get because the sun's really dropping behind those hills over there. But if I can get up over there and see the city, it's going to be good. Clouds that's come out over there. 
Um, I'm not sure it's going to come through. If it doesn't, it just this shot just doesn't work really. But I have got um, just to go through my setup a little bit. I'm ISO 100 raw, obviously. Lee point nine neutral density grad, and I mean, everything's just looking fantastic. Oh, wow, the clouds are just unbelievable, but they're just there's no light on the foreground, so all the interest is in the sky. And we need some light. breath now the um it's not bad from here and then if you can just see over there there's this tree and um some rock interest again the sun's going to drop behind those clouds over there and it's already illuminating the city look mount tam over there is looks looking fantastic as well which is one of the highest peaks around here. The clouds are just, just on the tip. The problem is there's so many different things to shoot. Just gotta hone in on one, go, go back with one picture. That's looking pretty good there. What about that? These bushes. So these bushes here look good. I'm just thinking, is there a composition with this one here? We need the sun. Well, after a, a pretty mad rush to just try and take a photo of that tree, I actually don't think I've got anything. I couldn't get a composition. Um, and I didn't do any video because it was hectic and that's what, <laughs> landscape photography is like the light doesn't last very long and it's just going down behind me now but it's been a fantastic evening god i love being outside it's amazing what can be better than a night like this absolutely fantastic mm -hmm.